to make it to the NCAA tournament, their first appearance since 97. And we are underway. The pilots winning the tip, wearing the road unis as the higher seed, taking on Oklahoma. Sooners at 25 and 6, 14 and 4 out of the Big 12. And let's have some fun ourselves, Megan. You got it. Big hands down low. Here comes Oklahoma off the turnover. Fowler with the quick hands herself. And is able to save it. <laughs> Good job by Portland getting back in transition defense because that to take the pace of favors Oklahoma. Capital One starting lineups for the Pilots. Cochran, one of those starters, and if she can get some offense going along with rim protecting, that's a good sign. Always a good sign, especially because she stands at 6'6", and not a lot of players want to go inside to her. Well, you look at Liz Scott getting the big mean on with the offensive rebound, drawing the foul as we look at Oklahoma's starting lineup. A lot of familiar faces, and oh, the veteran and experienced starting lineup for Oklahoma. Oklahoma, we're going to get into it, how old their starting lineup is, but that veteran experience shows the composure that they have in the floor. All right, two apiece. Another Portland turnover. And another foul. It, this one's going to go against me. Her first team second fouler had picked up her first moments ago. Oklahoma is so long. I mean, everybody on the floor is at least six feet or taller, with the exception of Nevaeh Tot. So that length is somewhat deceptive. Portland has to do a better job moving the ball with some speed. Tot, one extra pass. Plenty of time on the shot clock for the Sooners in the half court. Great job by Burnham. Thought she had the pick, but just too much strength from Williams. Ball up for grabs. Wrenching it down. Not there for Scott. And here comes Fowler. Boom. Burnham. Transition three is one of the hardest plays to guard in basketball. But Portland has to sprint back because here comes the Sooners. 5-2 pilot lead. We're early in the first quarter. Cochran again battling Scott, who has been everywhere on the offensive glass. This is a pilot team that likes to stroke it from beyond the arc. They spread the floor well offensively, but in transition, it's inexcusable to leave someone open when everyone's back already. All right, so the last possession goes to Oklahoma on the jump ball arrow. Good footwork, but there's Cochran. Step back three. Oh, man. Day long T Rob. Automatic. Robertson has one of the quickest releases in that step back. She gets her feet set so quickly. Five on the shot clock now for Burnham. Dumps it inside, batted away. Shear's got to just hoist it. Into the hands of Robertson. Remember passing Oklahoma. Floater. Pretty by Todd. Tot is five foot three, smallest player on the floor, yet she is so quick, especially when it comes to getting to the basket. If a defender comes out of their stance, Tot's driving right by her to make her pay. She ain't five three. Yeah, she's like five one. Okay. By the way. <laughs> I was being generous, which makes it even more special. Good D and Shearer picks up the offensive foul, and that's T Rob taking one for the team. Frawley now checking in as Meek goes deep into his best, uh, bench. Tot known for that great assist to turnover ratio, but she'll score a little as well. Good hands, Pilots. Kaitu running the floor with Burnham. Kaitu scores. Running the floor is going to be key for the Pilots. They got to get out, trying to make Oklahoma pay when they get stops. Tucker in the Oklahoma lineup. Williams getting it down low and one. So Lindsay commits that foul. And Williams, well, you can get to 2,000 really quick when you get a lot of three point plays wrapped up together. <laughs> Back and forth we go. Nice high low action. Burnham, tough look, can't get it there. Good board by Tucker. 
Aubrey Jones on the floor for Oklahoma as well, checking in for the Sooners. Kai Tutu picking up that foul, and the foul's mounting against the Pilots. MJ Bruno checking into the Portland lineup. As Skyler Van on the floor, you look at what... Jenny Baranchek has done in short order historical kind of stuff and the team is just scoring like crazy. Here's me taking over point guard duties when Haley Andrews, the heart and soul of this club blows her knee out in January. Five on the shot clock. Bruno's got to do something. Almost gets tied up. Let's it go and hits. That's a big time play by Bruno because I'm pretty sure you got a hand on the ball. You got to get in the weight room to make a shot like that. Boy, and how quickly does Maddie Williams in Oklahoma get down the court? Under five to go in this first quarter. Pilots hanging tough. Crawley. Following safely into the hands of Skyler Van. And congrats on winning your second Sixth Player of the Year award, Skyler. And on cue, congrats on the triple. Congrats on the assist. Congrats on the triple. Transition <laughs> offense. Once again, Oklahoma just plays so quickly. It's difficult as a team to get back and match up. Bruno. Front rim and off. And again, here comes Oklahoma looking to push. Man, have they been fast as we would expect. That's great defense by the Pilots. Bruno picking it up. And here's Frawley. Dumping it inside. Fowler will go to the line. Nice high-low game, and Fowler was patient and drew the foul. Liz Scott picked up that foul, by the way, her first for the third straight year. Every NCAA Women's Championship game is on the networks of ESPN. For more information, easy peasy, go to NCAA.com, your home for all 90 NCAA championships. Boy, there's the quick get the ball out of the bottom of the net, and off we go. 20 to 11, 3.30 left to go in this first quarter. Fowler again establishing position down low and again drawing that foul. And it looks like it's going to be on Scott, and that's her second. Portland needs to continue having really good spacing, try to get the ball inside to force the defense to collapse and create some open shot opportunities from three. 6 3 freshman Beatrice Culleton checking in to the Oklahoma lineup. What a tip was that Fowler? Culleton looks to square and for a cutter. Deep position not there. Fowler gobbles up the rebound, and here's Burnham. 20 to 13, fifth seeded Oklahoma leading 12th seeded Portland in the first quarter here at Pauley, part of the Greenville One Regional. Cochran wants to set that high pick. Meek can't quite get the edge, pulls up and hits. Nice job by Meek stopping and it forced Jones to kind of go past her so she had just enough space to get the shot off. The lead is five. Top reverses course, almost gets tied up. There's that hawking pilot defense. Nice trap by Portland and a force 15 seconds off the shot clock. Ooh. Look at that cut. Oh man, I mean that is all about Culleton. Sheer tees it up, splashes home the three. Jones, the transfer from Iowa State, wants it right back and gets it. Wants the baseline. Can't finish. Fowler gets hammered by Culleton. Fowler on the bench. Eight on the shot clock for Lindsay. Now Kaitu'u squaring up on Tucker. Kaitu'u. Crawley returns for the Pilots. Considering the fact that the Sooners were just running hot for a time period here. Portland's defense has gotten them back in this game. We've seen a little more patient offensively. One of two for the Pilots. It's a three-point lead for Oklahoma. Williams. Blocked. That's what Cochran does. That's what 6-6 six, six does. <laughs> it is fun having a shot blocker. Transfer out of Oregon. Had 114 blocks last year in her first season wearing pilot gear. Now this year she missed 10 games with a foot injury. So she's not quite up to 114. But Cochran's return to the lineup has been huge for the Pilots. 10-2 Portland run. All the way to the rim and missing. Boy, you love the follow-up by Yanusa. Draws the foul. She'll go to the line. 
both clubs in the bonus. Free throws. Gets a couple. Kaitu, three pointer. And the late whistle is going to go against the pilots. Rims out. She's a 92% free throw shooter. That's more like it. Cochran looking for the cutter. And now Bruno. Wide open three. Not there for Lindsay. And ball belongs to Oklahoma. Lindsay was wide open, couldn't hit the three. Bruno is going to hop top. Take a little time off the clock. Shot clock off, game clock at 12 right now. Bruno, good on ball defender. There's the cut. Oh, what a pass. Oh, what a pass by Todd. You got to hurry if you're Lindsay. Good if it goes. How about the pass? My goodness gracious. Todd looking like a seamstress. Nine field goals for Oklahoma in the first quarter. Assisted with seven on seven of those it was pretty remarkable Fowler rimming out to start the second quarter let's see if it's a jump ball it is possession arrow favoring Oklahoma should mention this is only the second time these two clubs have ever met before today 1987 in Portland Oklahoma winning it by 13. that's what's so fun about the NCAA tournament is you know these teams go like decades without meeting yes. each other I wasn't even born then 23 NCAA tournament appearances for Oklahoma. This is the sixth for the Portland Pilots. Another offensive rebound and stick. This time it's Williams. 7-0 Oklahoma run. High low. Great pass by Fowler inside to Shear. Shear with seven. She's a double figure scorer. Wide open look. Not there. Portland wants to push. Here's Burnham. Quick hands, quick hands, Maddie Williams, Shear trying to cut her off. Ooh, body's flying, and Williams will go to the line. Shear picks up that foul. Bruno returns to the court for the pilots as Maddie Williams, the redshirt senior out of Fort Worth. Only kid in the power five to average 24 and a half points, nine boards, four assists per 40 minutes. Incredible. Fowler working hard to get open. Meek instead is going to dump it inside. Blocked. Oklahoma wants to run. Hot. Hawked by Meek and now squaring up Yanusa. <laughs> Cochran, third block of the game. Blocked now in 14 straight for Cochran. And unfazed is Maddie Williams. 13 points now for Williams, just under her seasonal average. Good hands by Fowler. Fakes. Wild shot. There's Bruno underneath the cup. Cochran dumps it inside. Fowler going to work again. And one, Alex Fowler. But for Portland to be successful offensively, if they have to run their offense through Fowler. That foul was on Johnson, by the way, as Fowler completes the three-point play. That was huge for Portland. Jones, Van back on the court for Oklahoma. Better job by Portland getting back and contesting on Jones. Fowler got hammered. Wow, Yanusa really got Fowler. Just carries the load for this pilot club. He just keeps coming back for more. You gotta have some toughness and grit if you're gonna compete at this level deep in March in the NCAA tournament. You look at what Fowler is doing. She and, and Smith out of Maine, just special numbers. Good hands by Kaitu. Kaitu's length has been disrupted towards Tot. Ball belongs to and stays with the Portland Pilots. The little things that add up big for a win in the end. Second year at the helm for Baranchek. Wow. Fowler goes tumbling, and they're going to call that a clean block. So Fowler thought she had drawn the foul. And six seconds on the shot clock remaining for the Pilots as they, the refs, call it a clean block. Portland's got to get something going in a hurry. Uh-oh. That's just launched to nobody. 
Burnham. Burnham. Got to hurry if you're a Cochran. I don't think that got off in time. Well, what I think is going to be important is if you review that, I think the buzzer went off before the clock went to zero. And <laughs> T-Rob answers with a triple. How do you like me now? Fowler dumps it inside. Meek, the extra pass. You got to hit that, Maisie. Back rim and off. Cochran got away with over the back. Ball belongs with the Pilots. Crawley tees up the three. I should mention moments ago, the officials reviewed that basket by Cochran and waved it off, said the shot clock had expired. So it's 36-27, Oklahoma, probably with the pick. This case of play is so fast, it doesn't favor anybody. Foul away from the ball. So with Portland just trying to hang tough, you take away a deuce, making it 36-27. Fowler, though, to the line with a chance to add to her totals. Perla needs to continue trying to get to the foul line, especially in a game like this where the pace of play is kind of fast. If they can continue getting paint touches. Fowler splashes home a couple in terms of D1 play. Nobody has scored more or rebounded more than Alex Fowler. She's got nine now. Fowler will take a seat. Again, the quick hands in the passing lane by the Pilots. Crawley will bring it up. Pilots have got a score. Here's Ty Tutu. Burnham the cutter. Puts the ball on the floor. Here's a break for the Pilots. Kaitutu. Wow! Get the ball in the paint. Good things happen because the defense has to come in and collapse. Yanusa clocks three. Sheer floater. You bet. Bruno on the floor again for the Pilots. Almost a travel. Good hands. Now the ball on the deck. Who's going to own it? Jump ball. And this time the arrow points in Portland's direction. Shot clock off. Game clock at 12 right now. Meek getting the high pick from Burnham. Meek's got to do something. Now Burnham is in a position where she's got to go hard. And that should have been an offensive foul because Burnham lowered her shoulder into the defense and initiated the contact. Here's Burnham, the transfer out of Eastern Washington. Sophomore. So that'll do it. Oklahoma with the 39-34. And you see Portland opening up in this matchup. Fowler playing with the two fouls. They wanted it wanted to get inside, have the pilots. They've been able to do that to an extent with Fowler. Offensive rebound, another carom on the offensive end for Oklahoma. And Scott's been a beast on the offensive boards. She's going to get it back. Cochran is going to get whistled for that foul. The senior Scott out of Houston. Starter last couple of years. Porter Moser, fantastic basketball mind. His daughter Jordan's on the team. And it's great that he's come out to support his daughter in Los Angeles. Missing both free throws, but... Oklahoma hitting the boards. Ball on the deck. Everybody going for it. Whistle blows quickly. Jump ball. Pilots will take over. It's so cool that, you know, also for Porter Moser had the men's basketball program to be supporting the women's basketball program. Squaring up his father, looking for some help. Keeps the dribble alive. Extra pass. Cochran buries it. Get it right back. Wow, Cochran physical inside, but able to get it right back. Nothing doing for Scott. Into the hands of Williams. Hustle play favors Oklahoma. Whoa, lots of bodies flying in this one. Look at the level of physicality. But the box outs aren't necessarily happening for Portland. They're trying to put a body on somebody. Meek, Meek whistled for that foul. Daughter of head coach Mike Meek. And it looks like... She's going to have to get uh, a little blood tended to. So Meek <laughs> putting a body without question on Yanusa, who comes over. And at the moment right now, a technical foul called against Portland head coach Mike Meek. And you don't see that very often as Robertson hits the free throw. Again, the redshirt senior out of McPherson, Kansas, a 92% free throw shooter. 
Yeah, so two shots in the ball yep. for Oklahoma. There it is. Portland has to find a way to box out the moment the ball goes up in the air because by the time it hits the rim, it's too late. Oklahoma's already moved to try to offensive rebound. You bet. Do your early work, right? Do it early. Do it often. <laughs> Robertson. Williams leading everybody in points. And we're going to go the other way. Super sub Skylar Van will come in, and Williams will sit down with the three fouls. Pearl and has to take advantage of yes. having Williams on the bench. Good point, partner. Meek wants to dump it, finds Burnham. So the travel against Burnham, unlucky there for the Pilots. Wave off the bucket. This tournament has had its share of upsets. A couple of 12 seeds already posting upsets. Could Portland be the third? Top. Getting it up and over Cochran. Baranchek said they wanted to be aggressive against Cochran, even with all the shot blocking ability, as Shear answers with the deuce. Eleven now for Shear. Robertson wide open. Fowler down low. Katniss Everdeen, Hunger Games edition. Ha! 20 times now, Robertson has hit double figures. 46-38. Oklahoma with the lead. Burnham can't finish at the rim. Scott with another rebound. And the block is going to go against Shear. So Scott, who's mopping up on the boards now, can hit a couple of tosses. Shear has now been tagged with three personal fouls. <laughs> Quick hands by Todd. Fowler's got to let her go. Listen, if you bring the ball down low, Todd's going to make you pay. Got to keep the ball up high, chin it. Oof. Boy, Cochran. Scott seeing the opening. Loses the handle. And here's Mikkel. She'll bring it out. Almost a travel by Oklahoma. The steal is going to favor the Sooners. Jones all the way to the right. And one. Oh, baby, what a finish. Crossover got Fowler up out of her stance. And Jones attacks the outside hip. But a bing, but a boom. She gets the basket. Nice finish by number 20 in white. She wants to take it in hard and scores. When either team can really get control of an offense, there's been zero flow whatsoever in this game. A lot of physicality. Meek is going to get whistled for another foul. Mikkel can't believe it. We'll come back with more free throws for Oklahoma. So right here, there was a common foul on the floor by Meeks. But then, on the other hand, there was an intentional foul. Call it on Yanusa. So right now you're going to have Yanusa shooting for the common foul. Then Portland's going to have anybody shoot the free throws on this end, and Portland will get the ball back. All right, so now it's Fowler's turn. Portland has to find a way to slow down offensively. They need to try to work the ball inside and get it back out. But right now, the Pilots are just playing way too fast and out of control. They're rushing every shot. Fowler's first point of the third quarter. And that's got to change. Third team foul. Van not in foul trouble at all. Pilots need a bucket. And how? Frawley on the weave. Bruno pocket picked by Jones. Jones coming from a family of D1 women's basketball players. That's for sure. The transfer from... Iowa State. And the sister is also very good. These are some of the best basketball players from the state of Iowa. Younger sister Kelsey will be going to Iowa State next year. Largest lead of the game for Oklahoma right now. Fowler. Uh -huh. And scores. Beautiful move by Fowler. Avoiding the block. Top back on the floor. Step back shooter Jones. Front running off. That ball is up for grabs. Pilots, they have to corral those boards. It's Jones with an and one again. Jones has been special today. Special. Completes another three-point play. Cochran 
Sweeping in and scoring. Cochran keeping the ball up high. Eight on the shot clock for Oklahoma. Whistle away from the ball. West Coast basketball is fun. And what Campbell has done in short order, remarkable. Four-second differential, shot and game clock. Shear turning around, wild shot. Another rebound by Scott, and here comes Oklahoma. A nice defensive possession. Oklahoma switched everything. Communication was high enough. Forced the contested shot. Scott with ten rebounds now. Been a beast. Here she is down low and scores. <laughs> and one for Liz Scott. Oh, baby. Scott completes the three-point play. Six seconds for the Pilots. So that'll do it. A dominant third quarter for the Oklahoma Sooners. Portland's so concerned about Williams right now. They're focusing a lot of attention on her, and she's dishing it. Maddie surrounded by black and purple. And Oklahoma opens the fourth. Well, there's going to be a conversation. Well, at this point in time, it's not reviewable. We're seconds into the fourth quarter. What does Portland have to do to get back in this thing, Megan? Starts defensively. The Pilots have to get stopped to find a way to play smart offense, getting the ball inside of Fowler and sharing it. Going high for that board is Burnham. Maisie wants to take it all the way in, and she'll go to the line. Here's Burnham, who averages 11 points a game. Getting that first free throw. Portland is playing so fast right now because of OU's pace that they're out of control. They just need to take a deep breath, run their offense, and control the pace of play, not let OU dictate it. Williams, safety valve for top. Williams all the way to the rim. They're going to let him play. Ball batted around and followed by Scott. What a game. Burnham going right up against Williams. Fowler. Travel against Alex and the Pilots. Greenville Regional 1. We're at Poly Pavilion. 65-49. Fifth seeded Oklahoma leading the 12th seeded Portland Pilots. Eight points now for Todd. Right at her seasonal average. The lead increases for Oklahoma. Here's Shear. She's got 11 points along with Fowler's 11 to lead Portland out of New Zealand. It's incredible. The lineup for the Portland Pilots. Seven from Australia, three from New Zealand. That's the roster. Look at the strength. <laughs> she is playing at another level, embracing that contact. There's your answer. Cutter. Bucket inside. Again, another assist. This club putting on a clinic one strength as you see the baseball pass come because multiple people are threats on the floor and then the defense really has to pick their poison. There's another one! Yeah! <laughs> Scott with nine points now. The 11 boards. Nicely played by Fowler. I've been really impressed with the defensive intensity of, the, of Oklahoma because they've forced Portland to play so fast now to control. Ooh! Yeah, new complete game for Oklahoma looking to advance to the round of 32. Ooh. Like the footwork for Fowler. Nice job because Oklahoma went flying into the stance. We'll pull up mid range. 16 now for Robertson. Gonna love that game. She gives you nearly 12 a, a contest. Man, what a game for Aubrey Jones. Jumping it inside, high-low, nicely played. Cochran, a very good pass. Right through the wickets, the Sooners. have got to feel good about their second half, Megan. Oh, 100%, and especially defensively, what they've been able to do is you see Cochran make the bucket. Jones, you don't have to ask her twice. Front rimming off, Lindsay with the board. Lindsay, pull up. Yep. Johnson comes up with it, and now deep in inside, and squeezing it home is Van. 
Poke checked away. Oklahoma will be very, very careful. Not so much careful, just take the time. Less than a minute to go in this thing. Second half, all Oklahoma. Tucker Kennedy giving these kids the opportunity to play in an NCAA tournament. What a special day for both these teams, but really the Sooners. Fantastic finish to this game in the second half. We're down to the final seconds. Crowd will tell the story. So Oklahoma.